Hello, 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 it's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I am going to be unboxing my new cloth and paper Pinspiration box. So if you're interested in seeing what's inside this box, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, great. Thank you so much again for joining me today. As I said before, my name is Brandy Janae. If you are new here, then I'd love to welcome you. And I hope that you will consider subscribing to the Brandy Janae family. We would love to have you around. And if you are one of my returning subscribers, I'd like to say thank you again for sticking here with me each and every video that I put out. I truly appreciate your support and I'm grateful for each and every single one of your comments and likes. So again, like I said, I'm going to be opening this cloth and paper Pinspiration subscription box and let's see what's inside. Ooh, so here is the board. A look at what inspired the pins for this month's box. I absolutely love these um, warm tones. It makes me feel real like beachy and that's fun. And then of course we have our pin test sheet on the back. And then inside the box, we have our pin slash markers, we'll see. So as always, it comes with this super cute little clear pouch. And then you have one, two, three, four, and five. Looks like they might all be pins this time. So five different pins. So we'll start with this one. It says Uniball 1 and it's 0 0.38 millimeters and it is in black. Um, it feels good. It's, um, you know, not too heavy, not too light. So it has a good um, weight to it and it is one of the little click pins. So this is the Uniball. Ooh. What did I say? Uniball one um, 0 0.3 I need to start testing these on other paper because I don't know if it's this sheet no it has a little bit of a skip to it but it's not super bad um, but it does have, it's not a very smooth, right? As you can see, cause I did try it on this and then a piece of, um, the sticky note paper. Uh, so it's okay. It's, it's not my favorite, but it's okay. <laughs> it, it's nice to just add to a regular pen collection, but like, this is one of those pens that if somebody stole, I wouldn't be like, no, -uh, you better bring me my pen back. I'm like, eh, you can have it. So I'm going to sit that one to the side. Then we have this one. I'm not sure what's smeared all over. Oh, this is actually a pencil. So that's cool. Yeah, this is actually a pencil. There's no eraser on it, which is kind of sad, but it has a nice um, lead to it. It says a 0 0.7 millimeter, um, so it is obviously thicker than the pen, but it's a nice pencil. It's very pretty. It doesn't even, I didn't even know it was a pencil until I saw the lead, um, so that's cool. I like to use pencils, especially in my bullet journal, to kind of sketch out everything before I actually um, write. So, you know, you can never have too many really good pencils. So here's another one. This is a Durable 0 0.5 millimeter. Um, and I'm assuming the ink is blue. Yes, ooh, that's a pretty blue too. I really like the blue. Now, I feel like this one writes better than the um, Uniball one. Like it's less, it has less of a skip to it. Um, so I really enjoy that. But again, it's something about these kind of pens that I really just don't like because the tip, 
moves. <laughs> I, that's probably like a weird thing, but something about this particular type of pen, I don't like how the tip on the inside kind of shifts as you're writing, um, but that's probably just my own strange little personal preference. Um, so let's see, this one is the, I don't know because it's not really in English. So we're gonna go with this part that says Delhi. And we'll just write that down. Oh, there's still some stuff on it. Um, yeah, it doesn't have like how many millimeters it is. Um, I'm not sure. I don't like this one. I don't know. I don't know why I don't like it. I just don't like it. <laughs> um, so this is another one of those, the, like the uniballs that I'm like, mm, if somebody took it, I wouldn't be too sad because, oh, it's a 0 0.5. I see that now on the top. Oops. It's okay. It's okay. And I mean, it's just a basic black pen pretty much. And then last but not least, we have this one in the orange. And it looks like this is called Shams Glue Pen. I don't know what that means. It's not in English, so I don't know what this is. Hmm. But it is orange. I don't know what glue pen means. So it's really um, pastel. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that. I'm like, is it? Oh, oh my God, it really is glue. <laughs> it's sticky. That's crazy. Why would you want a glue pen? I don't know what that even is, but I kind of like it. But no, it literally is... Um, like it's literally sticky to the touch. Um, so I don't know what you glue. I guess if you're using like glitter or something maybe, I'm not really sure what you would use a glue pen for, but no, for real, it really is sticky. So, um, and it comes out in this really light peachy color. I hope you guys can see that. So anyway, those are the pins in this box. I'm going to be honest and say I'm not as thrilled with this box as I have been with the other ones. This color palette, the only thing, I mean, I guess it did have the blue and then this coral color in there. Um, so I was just kind of looking for a little bit different. The other boxes that I've had, I think there were more pins in there that I liked more than in this box in particular. I have no clue what to use a glue pin for. And the blue one, I mean, it's nice, but it's just blue um so honestly the best thing in this whole box for me is gonna be the pencil <laughs> um just because again you can never have too many good pencils so anyway this is my review of the cloth and paper pinspiration sub box um again if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching and as always have a good day friends goodbye